guys I'm so excited so to begin with I want to show you guys these which I got over the summer actually these are the best freaking highlighters I've ever tried in my life Becca Cosmetics now they're very high but I I've had a few of those pro their products and I feel like they're worth every penny. So these, I can't remember how much exactly these cost, but they were close to $40 a piece, I think. And I'm cheap as heck, so you know it was good when I bought two of them. This is the color Topaz right here. So you can see it's more of like a golden shimmery color. And it's so pigment, like you don't need a lot of product. Look at that. At freaking all. And I am dark skinned. Just imagine this on your beautiful chocolate brownie just extra dip double fudge skin lord jesus christ it's everything this one first the well actually i bought opal which is this color called opal this one is topaz yeah i bought opal first and it would look too similar to something i had it didn't really wow me so i went back and got topaz because this is more of a subtle um gold color and i'm very plain when it comes to my makeup so this is really good if you want to wear a bb cream and get like a nice highlight effect without it being too extra and highlighted looking this is absolutely flawless i would even wear this by itself the color i got right here this is champagne gold by becca and this is the second one i got this is a limited edition color right that that is absolutely amazing like this is champagne gold now this is more of a going out type highlighter but you can also wear it to the point that it's subtle and wearable for every day look at that it is so freaking gorgeous i I'm obsessed with these highlighters. That's with NARS. Um, I think it's called Albatross Highlighter. And I've had that one since 2012, I want to say. And I still have it. So just imagine how much product you get in these and how long these are going to last you. Here, so I'm going to put just a little bit. See how that pops? You can just take your finger and just swipe it across your cheekbone. It's absolutely flawless. Like, I absolutely love it. And the problem that I have with some highlighters, a lot of them spread a lot. So, you see me putting it in this one area. By the end of the day, it's right here. It's over here. It's in your hair. It spreads so bad. But these do not spread. Whatever you put it is where it stays at. So, these were, like, my ultimate best purchases of makeup that I did over the summer. Like, I don't know where I've been but Becca is definitely worth every single penny. This product I purchased and I got this about three weeks ago. This is Perversion Bigger Blacker Batter Urban Decay Mascara. Now this isn't my favorite. I'm more of a drugstore girl when it comes to my mascara. This the reason I do like this is because it's super, super black. It's buildable, but it doesn't really give you that, oh my god, you got fake lashes or them real. They don't give you that, like, questionable effect. I find myself putting this on top of my drugstore mascaras, like, um, Miss Magna, I think that's what it's called, and the Butterfly. Those are my two favorite mascaras in the drugstore. So I'll put those on first, and then I'll top it off with this because it gives you that extra deep, dark effect. And it doesn't spread that bad, but it's kind of really wet, so... I don't think it's worth the money, honestly, but if you happen to have it in your kit, it, you know, you'll use it, but you want to just go back and buy it again. So, I mean, I don't think it's a bad purchase, but I want to purchase it again because it didn't make my eyes pop. So, the next product I have, I'm totally obsessed with. I've been using this product since the beginning of this year. This is the Design Essential. First of all, I'm a huge fan of their products. I love their products from their edge control to their shampoo to their therapeutic scalp treatments. I love everything Design Essentials. So I bought this again. This is only my second bottle because the other bottle lasted me literally since I got it. I think it back in February. The same one bottle lasted me that long. And I use it on my clients as well. So I got another bottle of it. I feel like they overcharged me. It's $20 and I feel like this don't be that much in Sally's but whatever. Um, this is the twisting set for natural hair. This is the best setting lotion you will ever use in your life. And it takes no time to set. I've used this on several clients and literally after I finish their install, because I'll set their hair again, like hair like this. I'll set their hair first with the rollers. I do old school techniques, y'all. I'm not a professional, so I just do what I taught myself. And that's what everybody seems to like, so I just keep doing it. So I'll set their hair first. And I'll apply this with like a little water depending on what texture you have. Sometimes I can dry set it or I'll damp it with some water and set it. And by the time I'm done doing the install, I blow dry it a little bit. It's completely set. It sets so fast. It's not sticky. It's not hard. It's gorgeous set curls. Like I left the house about 12 p.m. today and right now it's about, let me see, 9.30 at night. 9.30. 
and look at my curls they're still in place they're shiny they're not hard and you know my blending technique so if you don't know check out my tutorial I have it on my channel how I blend my hair the same way I've been doing for years and this is scent from heaven like Oh my god, I absolutely love this scent and lotion. The hair store, if you've been watching my hair tutorials, I've been in love and obsessed with the Care Care Wax It for years. Well, I decided to try a new one just to see what else is out there. And this is by Remy Phobos, Remy brand. And the hair stores here in Orlando, they have a lot of the Remy brands in their hair stores. I never see it up north, but I always see it when I come home. And this is called the Remy Styling Wax. And the reason I purchased it is was ten dollars from the hair store but it seems pretty darn sticky and I know that's like not a good thing but when it comes to styling wax if you familiar with the care care wax stick like the stiffer the better because you know it's gonna press out well it's gonna hold on flyaways really good so I'm excited about this and it smells really really good it was cheaper than the care care because my care care usually run for like fourteen dollars but it's so worth it I'll pay for it if it's twenty anyone try this one let me know how you like it I'm gonna probably use it on my clients this weekend and see how it works but it seems really really good though I love the smell and how it feels because the other wax stick I think is by um Silk Elements, I think they have one, don't quote me on it, and Sally's, theirs didn't seem as stiff, it seemed like it would give out really quick, so I was kind of impressed by how this felt, so I'll give you guys an update on this and see how I like it. I run out this like crazy because everybody loves this, this is the Sleek Max Edge Control, I love design edge controls, of course edge control, that's a whole different video, but it's like a certain technique I use with my edge control, if you wonder on Instagram, everybody always asks me, how you let her edges down like that, I use the same edge control, don't look like that, it's a certain way I put it on, that makes it look like that but this is one of the edge controls that I'm obsessed with law I literally own over 10 different edge controls <laughs> it's so depressing I'm just a product junkie I buy so many edge controls just because I teach myself what works on what type of hair texture and what don't work on certain types of hair texture so I buy a lot of different products and this is one staple product that I always will buy design essentials edge control regular max hole and I have the one for natural hair now the one for natural hair wasn't I wasn't a fan of and I noticed it didn't really work that well on my clients, so I stopped buying it. But it may work for you. I don't know. Everybody who knows me personally knows my earrings have to be bigger than my head. So I got two packs of huge ghetto earrings, and I absolutely love them. And I'm so unbothered when I wear them. Now I'm about to distract y'all the whole rest of the video with these big ass earrings. Oh, the earrings. I've always been extra. I don't know why I'm so extra, but they gotta be big. Like these could really fit on my shoulders, and I'm so like unbothered by them. I just love huge earrings. 